It is 5 a.m. Here are your top stories this hour. A trade truce between the U.S. and China may push Wall Street to new records today. President Trump calling his meeting with China's President Xi Jinping and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un amazing. Has the president redefined the art of the deal? Okay, oil prices heading higher this morning on news that Russia and OPEC could extend supply cuts into 2020. OPEC, by the way, gearing up for a two-day meeting that starts today. Oil is up almost 3%. Plus, the pressure building on Joe Biden. His critics, are they writing his obituary too early after the Democratic debates? And get ready for holiday traffic fun. <laughs> We're going to tell you the places you should absolutely avoid this 4th of July. It is Monday. It's July 1st. FBN AM starts right now. And welcome to FBN AM and good morning everyone. I'm Cheryl Cassoni. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm Lauren Simonetti. All right, let's take a look at how your money is moving this morning. You're going to like these numbers, folks. We have got green across the board on hopes of a U.S.-China trade deal, at least a restart of talks. Dow up 272 right now. S&P up 31 and three quarters and the Nasdaq is up 129. The yield on the 10-year Treasury is moving to the upside, two basis point, 2.03%. We've got some economic news. Asia, markets in Hong Kong closed today. We are watching, nonetheless, anti-China protesters retake to the streets. The Shanghai composite in China skyrocketing 2.2% overnight. And finally, the global optimism is hitting European markets as well. As you can see, again, all of this thanks to that G20 meeting. As you can see, the FTSE, the CAC 40, and the DAX are all higher. And that is our top story this morning. Wall Street could hit new records today, first day of the week, month, third quarter, and second half of the year on a trade truce between President Trump and China's Xi Jinping at the G20 this weekend. Yeah, the meeting, one of the highlights yeah. in a weekend that was filled with several productive one-on-ones for the president. Fox's Garrett Tenney's got the latest from D.C. Good look for China. We have some sad news to bring you right here out of New York. A former New York City police detective who was a leader in the fight for the September 11, uh, 11th Victims Compensation Fund. Rising tensions out in the Persian Gulf were following. Iran says it will soon breach uranium stockpile limits despite European efforts to save the 2015 nuclear deal. Trey Yings has the latest from Jerusalem for us. TripAdvisor releasing its Traveler's Choice Awards, ranking the best travel experiencing, uh, experiences of the year. Number one is... I was wearing shorts at the time, oh, which is not a thing. Cover your shoulders, <laughs> cover your legs. Yeah. Lesson Place learned. Place of worship. Yeah, sort. all right. Well, we've got... We can, what, we can... Still benefiting from her debate performance, Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris climbing into third... Examiner Emily, good morning. Good morning. What do you think about that? Well, I do think that there is a point to the drop or not. But Joe Biden has a history, a long history of legislation, of civil rights uh, advances. Take a listen here to uh, Senator Lindsey Graham. Emily, do you think voters are considering that history, not just that 30, 60 seconds on the debate stage? Well, I think that it's something that is the party moves, lurches left. Do you think there's room for evolution of culture? for making a, a distinction between what anyone, in this case Joe Biden, said or did or supported decades ago and where they are now. Um, there does Larson, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Walt so if you checked, it is July 1st today. Happy July, happy second half of the year. And if you look at futures, absolutely surging on this trade.